Okay. I just want to show off one other projector in my collection. I actually, this is my projector I use for my visual videos of my 16mm sound films. It has a real capacity of 2,000 feet of film, which is about an hour's worth of film. And it's a Kodak uh, pageant from the late 50s, I would assume, because it's not, it's an pageant from Kodak and it has a separate amp you know this is what I this is why here's I did get a sound bulb for it finally you just gotta replace the bulb in there but uh it's working now see I'm not gonna leave it on too long and this here is my favorite good part about this projector threading instructions this is a circuit breaker switch so if something goes wrong with the projector when you when it gets fixed you just hit that red button and then it goes pop right back into service and you load it and this is how uh, you thread it you push the you push these down push this one up and then when you want to load it when you're done threading it just flip push that and then when you want to do, have a loop restored, you just push this little rubber piece down. That's just to uh, restore loop restore. This is for fidelity of the projector. And I love that this projector because of this this thick baby right here. It's a master control, and this one can work with sound and silent film. Right now, I just keep it at sound because I don't use it for silent films. But this is how it operates. You got to make sure. The little white dot is facing towards you, and then when you want to play it, you just go, and it runs great still. I've had this projector for about three years, and it still runs like brand new. So I'm going to show you what it look, how it operates. You just push this guy to uh, to start it. Projector bulb. And then when you're when it gets done, when you want to rewind, you push this down, and then you push forward again, and it'll rewind it like that. There's no film on it, so it's a little bit uh, going the opposite direction. But uh, yeah, the bulb is a DFD bulb branded bulb, and these this is a thousand watts, but the bulbs are only fifty hours. Sad. But this is this can also work with tone, volume, and there's even a microphone input, and you can hook up a record player to this to make your own records out. I mean, you could transfer a sound film to a record, or the other way around, where you put a record onto a sound film. And this is the separate amplifier. It's a really nice amplifier. It has lots of extra length of wire. Speaker is a uh, six ohms, and I believe this might be from the late fifties when slowly get rid of a uh, before uh, transistors were introduced. At least I think it's transistorized. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I haven't taken this apart because it works brand new when I got it. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about my projector I use. This is my everyday use projector, and I love it. It's very gentle on the film. 16 millimeter sound projector, all mint shape and working. Got this when I was at the archives because they were cleaning out their AV room, and I was offered one of the projectors because I needed a projector at the time to run my films. The only thing I had to replace was the plug on it. I had to put a modern plug on it because the three prong plug was missing the ground on it, missing the third prong, which is the ground. So I had to put a fresh one on there. And it runs great with sound now after I change the bulb out. So. One other thing I should mention also, this is the raise and lower it. You can lower it up like that. This projector has a capacity, I'm sure I said this already, but it has a capacity of 2,000 feet of film. So I'm going to end the video here, and thank you for watching. More to come later.